Yeah, it's too like. It's too even as it starts to cool. It's like taffy. It's a little too silly putty. -ish. Yeah, true. Okay. So what do you have to do? I'm gonna try again. Yeah, we like that Obviously. about you, Claire. <laughs> All right, here I'll leave that with you. No, I'm, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it quits. No, no, I'm just no. Gonna no. say. No, that's not the Claire we know. No, I know. It's not the Claire that's, we know. That's not the show. <sighs> oh, sucks. Hi everyone, I'm Claire. We are in the BA Test Kitchen, and today we are making gourmet Snickers bars. I've had Snickers over the years, mostly in the form of like the little mini Halloween candies. So this is the classic Snickers bar. It says peanuts, caramel, nougat, milk, chocolate. So what's not to like, basically. One of the things that's very noticeable about the Snickers is this ridged pattern on the bottom. And then it has that kind of distinctive chocolate kind of swirl on top. It's 10 centimeters long. So inside you see three main components. You have a layer at the bottom of nougat. Then you have the layer above, which is a mixture of caramel and peanuts. And then of course the whole thing covered in chocolate. Besides being very sweet, it's very good. Like really chewy caramel, crunchy peanuts. Overall, I think it leans really sweet. And that's something that I kind of want to dial back in the homemade version, but like all the components together, so good, so delicious. I'm a big fan. This is an almond Snickers, the little minis. I really want it to be peanut. This one's hazelnut. I think it's a little bit overpowering. I like the options with the different nuts and everything. They don't go too crazy on the flavors, but overall, I'm just a huge fan of the classics, so that's what we're gonna try to recreate. Peanuts all the way. So now I wanna try to isolate the layers. So that's interesting. The nougat kind of like separates fairly easily from the chocolate on the bottom. It's a really thin, very even layer of chocolate. So of all the components in the Snickers, I think I'm the most sort of intrigued by the texture of the nougat. There's sort of an airiness to it. Will you do me a favor? Will you taste this? Yeah. So that's the nougat. Does it taste peanutty to you? I feel like there's peanuts in the nougat. Yeah. There's peanuts in the there's nougat, right? I didn't really realize that. That was good. It's good. What can we improve? Uh, I'd make it a touch less sweet. Mm -hmm. Just getting that chew factor right, I think, is the yeah. perfect. Hey, sugar man. I would like better chocolate. If you could find that balance between milk and dark chocolate, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of bitterness. Less sweet. Yeah, it's very the, sweet. The corn syrup hits you on the face. Number one thing is that caramel pull. Uh -huh. Like you pull apart the halves and you just have the droop, very dramatic. Uh huh. On its own, the caramel does not have a lot of complexity. I think we can really make a, a much deeper, more complex tasting caramel really bring out some of those like bitter notes and the sugar and that will help temper the sweetness a lot. My plan is just to make a really dark salted caramel, add some butter and try to get that texture because the texture is key. So now it's time for my favorite part, reading the ingredients. Milk chocolate, parentheses, sugar, cocoa butter, chocolate, skim milk, lactose, milk fat, fat less artificial than flavor, peanuts, corn syrup, sugar, palm oil, skim milk, lactose, salt, white, artificial flavor. It's pretty straightforward. What I want to do now is go do a little bit of research, see if I can get some kind of YouTube video of like how they're made. They're asking for money. I do give money to Wikipedia actually. It was named after the favorite horse of the Mars family. How it's made Snickers, Discovery Channel's Good Eats. According to this guy, if it doesn't have a squiggle on top, it's not a Snickers. It told me what I basically suspected, which is you make the nougat, which does have peanuts in it, you make the caramel, you make both into a slab, you stack them, you cut them, and you cover them in chocolate. So that's what I'm gonna do. So for the three main components, we have the chocolate, the nougat, and the peanut caramel. The chocolate I'm gonna worry about tomorrow, but today I wanna to focus on the fillings. So we have the nougat, and the challenge with that is gonna be getting that fluffy texture. And then with the caramel, the challenge will be getting that texture just right so that it stretches and pulls. So I'm gonna start with the nougat. I'm gonna use a basic nougat method that I researched and I liked on 101 Cookbooks by Heidi Swanson. Did I leave peanut butter over here, Gabby? Um, no. Where'd it go? Oh, I'm cold. wait, I'm holding the peanut butter, oops. You basically pour sugar syrup into beaten egg whites, and I'm going to whip peanut butter into it. Oh, shit. That was supposed to be... <laughs> that was supposed to be a third of a cup of water and two tablespoons of corn syrup. Let's just go with it. This looks pretty good. It's peanutty, which adds kind of a nice savory element to offset all the sugar, but I do want to whip it a little longer because I think it needs a little more air. 
a little dense. I think I know what the problem was. I added the peanut butter too early. It really does need to whip and cool down before I add anything else. So I'm still going to spread this into the prepared pan and just kind of see what the texture is like. Claire, what you got? Oh, where are we at? Nougat. It's not, it's not there. Just taste it. Well, it's still warm. It's too dense, like it's too chewy. Yeah, you need that is pillows. Like, I added the peanut butter too soon. I have to make it again. See the nougat? Yeah. I wonder if I'm you- I'm getting like flashbacks. What else did we do, or you do, that was- uh, It's not supposed to really break apart. <laughs> but it works, because this really does aerate the mixture. Do you have to pull the nougat? I don't think that's the direction. Why? What if it, what if it works? Because it's still going to be taffy. But it's only tacky because it hasn't set yet. Keep telling yourself that. Obviously, this is very, it does have that kind of like laffy taffy texture. I do know that with at least cooked sugar, you can pull it and that will aerate the mixtures. It is, however, extremely stuck to these gloves. I can't get it out. What do I do? I need to really oil up those gloves. This is a classic example of me not starting over fast enough. Now I'm gonna keep going because I've already invested time. It's like when the subway is 10 minutes late and you're like, well, I've already been here 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna wait longer. And 20 minutes later, it still hasn't come. Do you think it looks fluffier? No, Claire. What do fluffier. you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Why not? Because it just looks like you're stretching it. But it, it's so much lighter in color than it was before, which means it's Did had air worked into it. Open yet? So look, see? A, it's a little lighter and it's more like crumbly. Air. I know, it's like flat fluffiness. This has a too much of a texture. shine. All right, when do you think I'm done with this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was the question? All right, I think I'm done. Yeah, you're definitely done. Okay, so, so I want to just roll it into, I don't even really care what the shape is, just something that's an even thickness. I'm just going to set this aside and cover it with some plastic, and then I do want to check back on it later once it's had some time to set up. It's still a little bit dense. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up another version of this and I'll adjust the method so that I don't incorporate the peanut butter until the very end when the nougat is room temperature and has had a chance to whip for longer. Even though I haven't added the peanut butter, the egg whites have deflated on their own. I think actually part of the problem is that the, the recipe calls for, I think, more sugar than the egg whites can handle. So, so tomorrow morning, first thing, I wanna get another batch of uh, nougat going and I have to go home and kind of think about the proportions and come up with some a different basically a different recipe and Then I want to pivot and move right into the caramel because both of those components need to set um, At room temperature before I can put them together and then even move on to the chocolate stage All right, so a little time has passed. It's been four days. I Came on a little light flu I can say that at least we've given the nougat some sufficient time to set so I want to try this out I don't really taste anything, so it's sort of a pointless exercise. Actually, I, I do, I do kind of taste the peanut flavor, and the peanut butter. Surprised it's not <laughs> stickier though. Yeah, it's just not doesn't have that fluffy texture that it needs. And I'm gonna use the recipe from this book. <coughs> Sorry. So this is that French style nougat with honey. This is a different proportion and a slightly different method: sugar, water, corn syrup, honey, egg whites, and vanilla. And then we're gonna add the peanut butter. It's not really working because it's like setting too fast. I might have to rewarm it. So this will hopefully bring that mixture together. I overcooked the sugar. Now it's setting too hard. Let me just pat it down into that prepared baking sheet. It, it might be okay. And it does feel actually nice and light and airy. So it might be okay. I, I truly can't taste anything so it's kind of pointless. I think it's going to work. I hope. I'm just saying that because I need it to. Physically, how are you feeling? Physically, I don't feel good at all. Physically, I would. But I also can't be home anymore. I can't be home in bed. It's boring. All right, so now I want to move on to the caramel while the nougat sets. I'm making a soft, chewy caramel, so it's not just sugar and cream and butter. We're using some corn syrup and also evaporated milk. 
This looks pretty good. It all depends on what the texture is when it sets. Same thing with the nougat. So it's a waiting game for these two. The next thing will be fitting them into these molds that I have. That even has sort of like that slightly irregular exterior that the Snickers has. So the next big challenge after nougat and caramel is tempering the chocolate. This is the caramel that I didn't pour into the pan with the peanuts, but it does sort of have that nice stretch and pull, which I think is gonna be really important. The nougat has firmed up to the point where I think it's too firm. I just want to make one more batch and I'm gonna cook that sugar mixture a little bit less. It sort of looks like a crumbly mess. It does feel really nice and fluffy. So obviously it's a really thick layer of caramel that'll have to shave down so that it can fit in the mold. The nougat layer looks pretty close. I'm actually very happy with the texture of the nougat. It has some airiness to it. I'm going to press half of this mixture back on top. I think this whole episode is boring. This whole episode is not dramatic. Try the nougat. The uh, addition of honey is what makes a French nougat? Yes. It's better than the <laughs> Italian, and I'm saying that as uh -huh. half Italian. I might pass out before I get to the chocolate sure, part, but... I'll, I'll, I'll continue for you. Okay, thank you. Oh, really? Is that a viable plan? Pop it back into the fridge for a few minutes, and then I'll take it back out, and we can start cutting those slices to fit into the molds. Uh-huh. Okay. This feels good, nice and firm. So here is that centerpiece. Overall, I think the proportions look good. I think the nougat is like just the right texture, so I'm glad we did it again. In some ways, I wish the caramel itself were a little bit darker, it had a little bit um, of a deeper flavor. So I'm gonna put them back into the, uh, to the fridge while I temper the chocolate. I'm gonna do a little refresher on chocolate tempering temperatures. So my plan is to use 50-50 dark chocolate and milk chocolate. I'm gonna use something called the seed method. I know that this is, this is hearkening back to the Kit Kat episode. There's still so much seed chocolate in it. Oh, this is supposed to set within two minutes. Under tempered? I think so. So a bar of each set aside for seeding. Then I'm gonna chop the rest and start melting it. All right, so we're right at the temp. Add all the seed chocolate. So it's basically, it is the evening, it's night. No one's here. Cat, cat and, um, Gabby are here, thank God. 86, so I'm gonna take it back off. First, I'm gonna do a little bit of a test on this piece of parchment to set and dry. So best case scenario is this chocolate, it hardens perfectly, it has a nice snap. Worst case, none of that happens. The chocolate is out of temper, but I'm just gonna go with it no matter what, so it doesn't really matter. If the chocolate isn't in temper, then it's not gonna pop out of the molds, so that's a big concern of mine. <coughs> It is like watching paint dry. What are we making again? Has it been three to five minutes? Really? No, I don't like that. I don't care, I'm making them. I'm moving <laughs> forward. All right, not, not too bad. This is not tempered chocolate, I have to say, unfortunately. No. It's very hot in the kitchen right now, so that could have a lot to do with it. But I, I want to put these in the fridge just to see if we can get them to pop out of the molds. And then we might have to just try again on another day. But it's not coming out of the mold, so that confirms what I thought, which is that it's not tempered. Hopefully more luck to me next week when I'm not feeling ill. I would like to pretend like Friday never existed because I was like in the throes of my illness and don't really remember like what went on here in the kitchen. You know what, let's just, I should start over and just be like, that never happened, it's day two. Just eliminate all that film. I'm feeling a little, I have more energy today. I'm basically gonna start over. I want that caramel not only to have a more robust, bitter, sweet caramel flavor, but I want it to be saltier. Starting over. Why? Because. I was in like a, Friday was like a fever dream. The nougat was so good though. 
N no, I think I just told myself it was good. It was just, well, no, well, there no, were a lot of problems. I told you that it was good, too. So well, like, did, wait, did you try it? I don't even remember. <laughs> the teaspoon of flaky salt. Flavor-wise, it's excellent. Pivot to the nougat. Jo oh my god, if I waited two seconds later, ah! That's looking really good. The nougat set nicely. It's pretty firm. I love the flavor, very peanutty. And the texture is chewy and firm, but also really satisfying, so I'm just gonna go ahead with it. So I wanna just warm the top of the caramel and then press the nougat into it. it. Smells like campfire now. This goes into the fridge. I'm gonna pop this out. It feels nice and firm. I have to say, these, I think they look pretty good. I think the proportion is really nice. I'm gonna chill these and then I'm gonna move to tempering the chocolate. Okay, it must be cooled to 82. One thing I'm gonna do differently this time is just stir to incorporate the sea chocolate and then let it sit for two minutes, All right, that was two minutes. 87, oh my God, okay. I feel like it's set. Yes. Okay, it's set. I'm just gonna go for it. <sighs> okay, I was really, my heart was racing on that. Okay, oh shit. I didn't grease the molds. It's not good. I forgot to grease the molds. Oh shit, I really hope they come out. God, it was going too well. We're just gonna keep our fingers crossed and get them in the fridge. I did Google, do you have to grease chocolate molds? And most of the answers said no, so I feel really heartened by that. You can try tapping them out and see. Oh my God. Oh, yes. God, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Well, they look perfect. I love the pattern that they kind of made too on the surface. So the overall proportions, I would say, obviously there's a thicker layer of chocolate. Mm. Really good. It's very chewy. I'm really happy with the textures of the filling. It's much, much less sweet than the original. Well, that was part of the goal. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. Oh my God, I like the wavy. The pattern? You are amazing. Ch chocolate molds. No, it was the molds. No, I know, but you are amazing. Oh, anyway. Thanks. Well, it took, took me three days to make a Snickers. All so. right, let's do. Yeah, this is definitely not too sweet. I love it. Flavors, fantastic. Uh huh. Great. The only thing that really leaps out is the proportion of chocolate. Yeah. yeah. I think the best thing is it looks right. So that's all that matters. Totally. If you don't cut into it. <laughs> what are you about to drink? Is that a protein shake? Okay, I won't make fun of you. These are delicious. I will they're say so they're so chewy, right? They're really chewy. I would say overall, like there is a lot a more, more chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. yeah. So that I mean, I think the chocolate is a little overpowering. Yeah. This is where everyone is. Oh, Mary Joseph. A lot of crunchy textures, snappy chocolate. Yeah. The lot. caramel doesn't have that weird thing where it like thins it, like, out and pulls. gets to a, It almost gets to like that, that like a like, thready meat floss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like thready. I think that if I left the peanuts in larger pieces where there'd be like more caramel in between, uh -huh. it would do that. Gary, do you want to try a piece of homemade Snickers? Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. You like it? Yeah. It's very, <laughs> thank you. It was a lot Thanks of work. Time. Not, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> like overall, there's sort of like endless tweaks that you can make and yeah, I would change a couple of things, but I'm satisfied with where this ended up. So I consider that um, that's a win. Here's how you make a gourmet Snickers. For the caramel, combine one and a half cup sugar, a quarter cup corn syrup, and a quarter cup water in a saucepan and stir over medium heat to dissolve. Bring to a boil and cook and wash it down sides with a wet pastry brush until mixture turns a deep amber. Slowly stream in one cup plus two tablespoons heavy cream, followed by five tablespoons butter and half a vanilla bean. Cook until mixture reaches 250, then pour caramel into a bowl and fold in crushed peanuts. Work peanut caramel across the bottom of a loaf pan in a thin, even layer set aside to set. For the nougat, bring 98 grams honey to a boil in a small saucepan cooked 250 Fahrenheit. In another saucepan, combine 121 grams sugar, 49 grams water, and 19 grams light corn syrup, and stir over medium heat to dissolve. 
Bring to a boil until mixture reaches 280 Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, whip 19.6 grams egg white in a stand mixer. Add a pinch of salt and slowly sprinkle in 5 grams sugar and whip to firm peaks. When honey hits 150, slowly stream into egg white, slowly stream in sugar syrup when it comes to temperature. When nougat mixture is around 140 Fahrenheit, beat in 1 cup peanut butter that's been warming in a double boiler. Scrape nougat onto a baking sheet and let cool. Work a rectangle of nougat into a thin sheet of about 3 millimeters thick. Cut with a knife to fit the dimensions of the loaf pan. Warm top of caramel with a torch and press nougat onto top of caramel and chill to set. Invert loaf pan and cut filling into 7.5 by 1.5 centimeter bars. Chill. Temper a mix of dark and milk chocolates using the seed method. Pipe chocolate into candy bar molds, then press bars of filling, cover tops of bars with more chocolate, chill until set, then invert molds and tap sharply on the counter to unmold. The circus? Yeah, the circus. The Big Apple Circus. Jeez. Which is currently in town. I don't know about circuses. King, there's no animals. Oh. So you it's can... like Circus uh, Olay or whatever. What's it called? <laughs> Cirque du Soleil. Oh no, that's not what it's called at all. <laughs> no. You know the ones where they do like really cool stuff? Backflips and... Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil! <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> Cirque du Soleil. Huh? Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Soleil means sun in French. Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil.